Amid violence and pressure from governments, journalists and conflict zones continue to do the job, no matter the cost. For Miroslava Gangazi, it cost her husband, a fellow journalist in Ukraine, his life. He was murdered by government police because we were covering a lot of uh, corruption in Ukraine. And uh, obviously the president and, uh, and the government didn't like it. And um, he one day he disappeared and uh, Two months later, we found that he was murdered by government police. Defend press freedom! Press freedom is declining around the world, says the Committee to Protect Journalists, which reports 24 journalists have been killed in just the last four months, including nine murdered in targeted suicide bombings in Kabul Monday. The dangers have significantly escalated, and uh, we have, apart from this uh, heinous uh, incident of violence, which was the bloodiest incident against journalists in the history of Afghanistan. We have uh, been receiving pervasive, um, you know, levels of threats against journalists all over the country. The attacks on journalists go beyond murders. In Myanmar, two reporters from Reuters are under arrest after they were reportedly framed by police and imprisoned while covering the brutal military campaign in Rakhine State that has driven nearly hundreds of thousands of Rohingya Muslims across the border into Bangladesh since last August. Jailing has actually increased worldwide for the past two years. Last year, 262 journalists at least were behind bars during our most recent prison census. And we know that anti-state charges such as um, promoting terrorism, being you know, covering issues that the state doesn't like is being equated with journalism. Uh, Speaking to VOA contributor Greta Van Sestren, reporters say Pakistan, abuses against the media channels. are getting worse. There are many uh, uh, people who don't like a free media, for example, military, for example, religious uh, leaders, for example, uh, government politicians. Our cameraman was uh, put in prison. Uh, uh, while he was broadcasting a protest, and this is, did, did happen uh, live, and one uh, pe a person of the army tried to put a tear gas in the mouth of one of our of reporters live. Still, Najib Sharifi, speaking from Kabul, says he and other journalists in the region will not be shaken. They're going to keep working for this profession because they strongly believe in the role of media. Even in the face of danger, journalists continue to place their lives on the line to bring the unheard stories from the darkest parts of the world. Jesus M. Elney, VOA News, Washington.